Hey, good morning from the Money Show in Dallas. I'm here with my friend Marvin Appel. He's the president of SignalERT Asset Management, SignalERT.com, correct? Yes. And uh, we know each other for a long time and, and um, interesting things going on in the market. So wh what are you seeing here in this market? We have trade deals, we have seasonalities, we've got some interesting things going on in your, in your analysis. Yeah, well, uh, our main U.S. equity timing model, which incorporates some of your seasonality indicators sure. is, is for that reason of seasonality is still on a sell. But one of our secondary models that's more trend following mm -hmm. um, is on a buy. So that gives me an overall mixed U.S. equity market outlook. What's the trend uh, that's on the buy? What is that one of your technical MACD indicators or is it? Uh, it, it, it it's actually, a, it, it's a different model. It's, it's based on uh, the preponderance of subsectors that are in uptrends. Okay. Uh, and and that, yeah, that one that one went on a buy. Actually, unfortunately, not not at a propitious time. But uh, meaning on the meaning, big up day. M meaning uh, yeah, September sixteenth. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but we'll see. You know that that uh, trade is now not too far underwater. Right. Uh, looks scary for a while. Um, high yield bond. Our high yield bond model has been on a buy uh, for some time. We came very close to getting uh, stopped out, but that, but that actually changed. We got stopped out of some bonds in September 13th. Mm -hmm. The TLT and the oh, yes. AGG and the BND. So not it, not the high yield stuff though. No, what, yeah, yeah, the high, the high yield's interesting. What, what do you use for the high yield? Is it individual bonds or is it an ETF or a fund or something? We we trade open-end corporate high yield bond okay. mutual funds for our clients, but but our high yield bond model is, is based on price momentum mm -hmm. of, uh, of the high yield bond ETFs. So okay. there's actually many ways to do it here at the Money Show. I, I share a strategy mm -hmm. where, where, the listener, where the viewers can uh, plot their own sell stops on each individual mutual fund, but it's also possible to do it bond market wide and that's what we've been doing for our clients. So high yield bonds still, still on a- Still on a buy. Still on a buy. Equities not on a buy yet. Equ equities are mixed, but our main model is not on a buy yet. May turn November. It looks like it's going to turn bu bullish on right. November first. On November first, you think so? Yes. Why? Because of because the of season seasonality. Seasonality, not a technical thing. Anything else? Look, jumping at you with the equity markets, the U.S. stock markets these days. That. Well, I you know you know looking at MACD, we're actually on an MACD sell with the S and P five hundred. Uh, using a 1939 day MACD. 1939 day, because because the S and P 500 I, with, a, with a nine uh, a, a nine, nine day signal line, yes, right. Nine, nine. And that's a, a long one. That's a pretty long one. Uh, the, the the rationale being okay. that for the last five six months S and P 500 really moved sideways, so you can't really say we're in an uptrend. It so. tends to move sideways from May through October. <laughs> yeah, so that's. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. That's right. Yeah. So, 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 so you're looking for uh, momentum shift for for getting equities, and you'll, you'll probably still stay in bonds, or that might pull you out of bonds if the equities pop up like that. No, no, no. We we usually we, we usually trade in parallel tracks. Um, again, bond, bonds. W w I, I guess I should clarify for your listeners. W most of our money in bonds for clients is high yield bonds and floating right. rate bond funds. So, investment grade bonds. Our model is on a buy and has been pretty much since January 2nd, right. not pretty much since January 2nd. Okay. So, uh, uh, but, but there's, you know, the fast money in bonds has been made with 10 year treasury yield at 1.73%. There's not much more you can do there in my opinion. So, so we don't have a lot of client money Waiting allocated equities, to this. Equity seasonals to kick in, still holding high yield bonds. Exactly. Fantastic, thanks Marvin. Thanks Jeff. Thanks everybody.